The Data Productivity Cloud allows you to connect to Snowflake where you can load all of your data and later transform it. In this video, I will show how to authenticate a connection to Snowflake using KeyPair in a hybrid SaaS project set up with an AWS agent. If you have followed the step in the prerequisite section, you should have either an encrypted or unencrypted private key. The first step is to store the key in AWS Secrets Manager. Click on the Store a new secret button and for secret type, select other type of secret. In the key value pair section, select plain text and replace the default value with the value of your private key while keeping the header and the footer. Click next, provide a secret name and then click next until you reach the review page and click store. If the private key that you have provided is an encrypted one, you would then need to create a follow-up secret for the passphrase. For that, we're again going to choose other type of secret. We're going to keep the key value pair. For a key, I'm going to say passphrase. And then value, I'm going to supply the actual value of the passphrase for that private key. Secret name, I'm going to name it passphrase demo. And then click next until you reach the review page and then store. Navigate back to the Data Productivity Cloud. In our project, I'm going to create a new environment that's going to use the key pair authentication. I'm going to call it key pair environment. We're going to then choose an AWS agent and provide admin default environment access. In the select authentication method page, we're going to provide the account for Snowflake In the credentials type, from the drop-down menu, we're going to select key pair and then we're going to provide the username and the private key secret that we have just created. Since this is an encrypted private key, we also need to provide the passphrase and select the key of that secret and then you can continue. We're then taken to the Select Snowflake Defaults page. We're going to supply the appropriate row, the warehouse, the database, and the default schema. If everything checks out, we're then going to be able to create a new environment. To make sure you're using the new environment that we have just now created, navigate to the branches tab to the right of your branch name click on the three dots and edit branch details. From the drop-down menu of the default environment field, we're going to select key pair environment, which is the environment that we have just created and click on update. And that's how you authenticate a connection to Snowflake using key pair in a hybrid SaaS project set up with an AWS agent. For more information on using key pair authentication to connect to Snowflake, please visit the Matillion Data Productivity Cloud documentation website.